Hi Virgo, welcome to February 2018 love reading. It's Raina here, shuffling the cards. Okay, so <laughs> there's like this vibe that I'm getting like of Aries. Um, very fiery, starting out with something new. Um, some of you may be really... I think you're, you're done with something, was looking at the past position. We have the Queen of Swords. With most of the people watching this are going to be women. And women have a tendency. I think it's because the feminine energy is yin. It's, it's, it's um, internalized. It's passive. So when women are trying to make a decision about something. A lot of times we will be really um, hampered by our emotions because we have that, you know, emotions are yin. Um, well, I, I shouldn't say that because anger is, is a yang emotion. I'm sure there's yin and yang emotions. But we, sympathy, let's put it that way. So we tend to, even if we feel like we're in a relationship with somebody that is not good for us, there is that sympathy for that person and blah, blah, blah. And that can keep us from making the decision to break it off. And in the past position you have here, the perfect combination of yin and yang which is head over heart, which is allowing yourself to be logical instead of the heartstrings getting in the way. And this is a card of mental clarity, okay? And so that makes me think that there has been something going on where you needed to do so. Once again, um, I'm wandering into the territory of relationship issues, so I'm going to be doing a singles reading at some point in the month. So just uh, stay tuned for that. But um, I think it's funny because I think Virgos tend to doubt themselves and feel, you know, easily feel guilty and, and things like that. But in this case, it's like there's no, it's so clear cut to you. And if I look at, I mean, look at this. We have, for the overall theme, the Ace of Wands, which is a enthusiastic new beginnings. And there's a sense of courage here because fire is passionate, but it can also indicate great vitality and if it's associated especially with Aries which I associate this card with I don't know if it's connected to Aries but it should be because Aries are all about new beginnings uh, so that could be the person that you are actually with they may have like if not the 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 Sun maybe the rising sign and they have a similar personality that is very like forceful and then we have, as the current energy, the magician, which is number one, you know, 
So and aces are like ones. And this is a car card of self-empowerment. So in February, this may be in your life in general, Vir Virgo, where you're feeling a lot of just feelings of new beginnings and vitality and strength and things going along with that. And yet, look what we have here. This is the higher message. The five of wands. The fly in the ointment. And this is a card of competitive behavior, conflict between parties. So with that Ace of Wands, you could be looking at a sexual affair. Now, when I say affair, I don't mean that you are cheating on anybody. Because with the Queen of Swords, I think that you have made up your mind about a relationship that is no longer working for you. And so you're a free agent. And as often happens, the bridge between the old life and the new life is often with an affair. Well, I'm acting like I know this is some fact, and I don't, but I'm assuming that this is not uncommon. Because affairs are fun, they're non-committal, and they can signify that you are as I said before, a free agent. They're kind of symbolic of that. It's like your um, declaration of independence. But with the Five of Wands, it could quickly degenerate into a situation where you don't feel a sense of peace with this person. Now, there are two reasons why this may occur. One, you're very incompatible with this individual outside of the bedroom. And two, what was two? <laughs> I'm getting over a cold and I'm, I'm, I'm actually over it, but I'm kind of spaced. Um, two was very cool. It was a very cool insight, and I can't... <laughs> it totally slipped my mind. Um, well, I mean, in any kind of um, an affair, a lot of times care is not given to determining whether or not the two parties are compatible. It's just like physical attraction. And for Virgo, because I think a lot of people don't realize how sexual Virgos can be, or I should say sensual. You're an earth sign, but you look like a school marm, or, you know, you kind of have that um, vibe of, that chaste vibe. But little do people know, huh? Right? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And, um, you know, another thing, too, is that sometimes I think with Virgos, even though you are not like Aries at all, there's, that, there's a similar thing, I think, where you're kind of like you like to bicker, whereas Aries might like to um, kind of troll people, get them to, you know, blow up, get angry, you're more likely just to kind of uh, be sarcastic. And you may be attracted to somebody where you can kind of go back and forth and trade insults or something like that, and there's almost like an attraction in that, and then it reaches critical mass, and then all of a sudden it's not, not funny anymore. But there's, it's, it's a, 
Because, you know, you're, you're uh, ruled by Mercury, so there's always that mental thing going on with you where you may flirt intellectually and verbally. And that's like a big part of like what you find sexy in another person. So this person could be a Sagittarius, by the way, too, very easily. The, um, the challenge card is the three of pentacles. There's your element of earth. And in the challenge position, this can indicate that this is the architect's card. And it's all about building firm foundations. So you may be in a situation where in your heart of hearts, you know that this is kind of a fly by night situation. But if you frame it in the proper context as a bridge to your newfound freedom, it's going to be great. However, again, noting that most of the people that are watching this are women, what do women tend to do? They tend to fall in love with the person that they went into things, uh, having an affair, and they flip the script. And all of a sudden they want... Um, a committed relationship. And the other party may have made it perfectly clear that they're just interested in a good time, but of course the woman always has to get uh, clingy and demanding when it comes to a relationship. And <laughs> I said always, obviously that's not true, but this does happen where they change the rules of the game. And of course, you know, sometimes there are no rules uh, laid out and sometimes the other party may lead you on, may just make you think that they do want to have that and then they, they flip the script. So I'm not just uh, blaming women for this, but I'm just kind of say, I'm not saying, I'm just saying. And so... It's just reminding you the proper protocol when you're looking for a solid relationship, is a solid start to a relationship, and one that is not just um, kind of uh, on the fly, especially on the rebound of a relationship that may have soured. But it's all good because it's all a learning curve, right? What is coming your way is the three of wands, and this is this could be a desire within you to expand your horizons. I mean, this could even involve moving, possibly for your business, and expanding your territory. Maybe if you're an entrepreneur, you want to expose more and more people to what you do. Or perhaps you just want to expand your mind and doing that by globetrotting if you have the means to do so. And again, you know, I really associate that card with Sagittarius. I don't know if it's associated with it, but it could be that this person isn't really going anywhere. That, they, that they're here to stay, but... It's a very lively kind of a jostling match. Jousting, I should say. <laughs> jousting match between the two of you. And this person may keep you on your toes in some way. And especially because, you know, with uh, Sagittarius, the, the ninth house that Sag rules is connected to long-distance travels. So uh, you may be with a person who you really do feel enthusiastic about life. And even though um, they get you going, there's a sense of passion. And maybe you're used to more sedate relationships that have, quite frankly, been boring. The outcome is a judgment card. And, you know, going back to that... Queen of Swords, when I said that you had this 
moment of clarity or this, you know, decisiveness of what you want to do. Um, I, that could be a former relationship where the, 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 judge, the legal judgment comes in and now you're totally free and clear. And, and with, these, with those cards uh, on top, Ace of Wands and Magician, you're clearly looking at new beginnings. The Judgment card is like a rebirth. And so I see like a lot of expansive cards for you, Virgo. And, you know, it may uh, be, you may connect to this reading in a different way than I have um, laid out here. I hope that something at least um, resonates with you. If you'd like a private reading, click on the link below. Uh, my website is rainandmoonastrology.com and I wish you a very expansive and romantic February. Bye!